It's a good thing to know. Yes. And no matter what we face, God knows how we may. Amen. Can you pray with me? Father, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Lord. That you've given us to share yes. in your word. Yes. We pray now, Lord, that you will speak to our hearts. Set a fresh wind of anointing. Power and anointing and clarity in the name of Jesus. Send healing in this room in the name of Jesus. We thank you now for your word. Speak to the hearts of your people. Great God that you are. In Jesus' name. And we all say amen. Ain't God good? God oh, is good. Amen. Grab your Bibles. I don't want to belabor the time. Amen. I know many of you will, uh, in a few hours, be sitting in front, amen, of the television screen with chicken wing sauce on your lips. Amen. So, amen. I don't want to hold your patience, amen, any longer. I want to draw your attention to the book of Isaiah. Amen. Isaiah chapter number 53. Amen. Isaiah chapter 53. I'm going to read verses 1 through 3 of Isaiah 53. Verses 1 through 5, excuse me, verses 1 through 5 of Isaiah 53. Hear ye the word of the Lord, it says, Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Mm -hmm. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. Yes. And as a root out of dry ground, he hath no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. Yes. He was despised, mm -hmm. and we esteemed him not. But should Sure. Sure. He hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken of God and afflicted. But he was wounded. Thank you, Jesus, for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. With his stripes we are healed. With his stripes we are healed. Today, my friends, I want to preach from a subject entitled, Amen, a spiritual healing. A spiritual healing. Anybody need healing today? Amen. You may take your seats in the presence of the Lord. Friends, sickness is no joke. It's no joke. It's no laughing matter. It is nothing to be played with. I think as a people, we have to do a better job in managing our health. As, when, as sickness is no joke. I think we have seen over the past few years how sickness has crept into our homes and robbed us of our humanity. Uh, if you think into just your personal circles, your immediate family, you can be a witness today that sickness, once it enters, it has a mind of its own. 
It comes unannounced. Do I have a witness? It, 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 it catches us by surprise. It has a way of, of entering and, 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 and if we're not careful, catch this, we can be sick and not even know it. Do I have a witness? You can be feeling fine, looking your very best, enjoying the company of friends and family and out of nowhere. Am I preaching to somebody? Here comes brother sickness. And then the one thing about sickness is, again, it doesn't invite itself into your house. Amen. I have made the reference before that trouble and sickness is just like roaches. You don't have to invite them to your house. They just have a way of showing up. Somebody be a witness here. Amen. I, 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 I sympathize. I sympathize with, 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 with Deacon Edwards and, and the situation that, that he just went through. Uh, because two years ago we went through something very singular. Amen. Having to lose two loved ones back to back. Amen. We ours was two months, but 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 deep maybe, amen. Two weeks, amen. A, a, a sibling and then a parent, and, and, and that 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 kind, amen, of, of, of problem. That that kind of situation is not something easy to go through. Do I have a witness? It's, it's not easy to grieve there, but but the root of the problem, the death, death is. is Final. It's it's the end, and, and, and you can somewhat cope with with death, but 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 the root of the problem is yeah. sickness. Yeah. Sickness over time, it, it not only takes a toll on the individual, but sickness has a way of taking a toll on the family yeah. 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 because the family has to watch the individual yeah. go through. They, yeah. they have to be to their aid. Yeah. They, they have to go and check up on them. Yeah. So sickness, my friends, is, is, is no joke. It, 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 and, and, and as your pastor, it, it amazes me how sometimes we can be laughing and joking. Uh -huh. Amen. At church cookouts with spots and coleslaw and baked beans and then oh, as time progresses, we're all together sitting in one place, dressed in all black, mourning the loss of a loved one. And the root of that problem is sickness. Somebody just shout sickness. Sickness, sickness my friends, it, it controls or tries to control every fiber of our being. It moves us as it will and it snatches our freedom. It robs us of sunny days. Sickness strips us of our beauty and our bodies wrapped with pain. Sickness is no joke. And, and, and then Brother Barnes, as you get older, which I have a witness here, as you get older, sickness only becomes more prevalent. So some of us, some of us, some of us have to uh, tell ourselves, all right, we're getting ready to get out the bed. You, 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 you got to crank your knees up. So. Yeah. Amen. Well, I, I used to laugh at people that did the, did the seesaw when they got out of the chair. But, but, but as you get older, you got to rock yourself up. Somebody be a witness in there. You, 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 you know, as you get older, you, you used to be spring chicken, but now... Your ankle bones don't, don't have as much strength as they once had. This, this week we were laughing. We were laughing at my dad this weekend because on, on the breezeway or the sidewalk at the house, there was some leaves. And, and my sister said, your daddy went out there and took your house broom sweeping the leaves off the bed. And I, I said, why are you sweeping the leaves with the house broom? He said, because I'm older now. And I almost slipped and fell. And, and, and as you get older, you realize that, that you just can't bounce back after you fall. Somebody say, man, hey, keep having some birthdays and keep living a little while and, and, and sickness. Yeah. Yeah. However, God, however, God told me 
to remind somebody today, he's still a healer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. my yeah. God. Yeah. And, and, and that's hard. That's hard. Sometimes that's hard to accept and to embrace because doesn't God know what I'm going through? Doesn't he know what came to my house? Doesn't he know what I'm dealing with right now? But God still said I'm still a healer. Glory to God because sickness has a loss. Yeah. Come on, come on. 
You know what I'm saying? Sickness has a boss. Sickness has to get permission to touch the people of God. The devil can't just run around and do what he wants to do. He has to get permission from God.
sick already right now. Because the God I serve, he's a healer. I said, the God I serve, he's a healer. I'm going to drop one more thing on you, then I'm going to get to my point. You must understand that at the time sickness comes, God also gives it an expiration date. Amen. I didn't get to share this, amen, with the 10 o'clock crowd at the moment. So I'm going to share it with you. God knows the end from the beginning. He knows the beginning from the end. When he removes the hedge of protection that is on your life, and he allows sickness and disaster to come in your life, he only allowed it. But there's a point that God draws a line in the sand. They yeah. say, devil, enough yeah. is enough. Yeah. You've been playing long enough. Yeah. Been hurting them long enough. Don't you come across this line. Yeah. Caroline. Yeah. He gives it an expiration yeah. date. Yeah. And when God gives things an expiration date, yeah. there's no devil in hell. Yes. That can stir it back up. Right. I don't care what the de- what the doctor saw uh-huh. or what the doctor sees. Uh-huh. God is still yeah. in control. Yeah. God still yeah. has all of the power. Yeah. God still yeah. has all of the authority. Yeah. God still. Yeah. Yeah. So friends, friends, I, I, I'm using physical sickness. Yeah. As a backdrop to talk about a much greater issue. Mm -hmm. Physical sickness is not the only sickness Mm -hmm. in the world today. There are people that are spiritually sick. And you must understand today, friends, that when you are spiritually sick, you are in a dangerous place. Because those that are spiritually sick Mm -hmm. are on the outside of grace. Mm -hmm. They're on the outside of the ark of safety. Let me walk down the line. If you're still in sin, you're spiritually sick. If you're taking the world by a storm, Mm -hmm. you're spiritually sick. If you're just living any old kind of way, Mm -hmm. I'm grown. Mm -hmm. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Y'all, y'all gonna help me preach? Yeah. Y'all gonna help me preach? Right. Bro, Jerry, you got my back? You know what I mean? I've been trying to bottom now. Just need a clear path to right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When, 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 when folk are so in discord, yeah. they are spiritually mm-hmm. sick. Y'all help me? Right. When you're fighting against the man of God, fighting against God's word, yeah. fighting against God's people, yeah. what are they, y'all? Spiritually sick. When they're just going through the most. Going to church because it's Sunday. Mm -hmm. Ain't looking for nothing when I get there. Mm -hmm. I'm just going because I don't go. Folk gonna say I won't there. Uh (laughs) They spiritually (laughs) sick. (laughs) Hallelujah. When they backstabbing. Come on, come on. Come on, sister. Either help me. (laughs) Smile in your face. But all the while. Trying to, don't try to act like y'all don't know that song. Trying to take your place. They're what? Backstabs. And they're spiritually sick. When they're gossiping. They're what? Spiritually sick. When they're out of this bedroom into another. they spiritually what? Sick. When they backslid. Turn their back on God. Walk away from the church. Say, you know every church is the same. They don't want nothing. They just want your money. They spiritually. When they have not confessed Jesus Christ. They believe that God has raised him from the dead. And they have not been filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. When they have unforgiveness in their hearts. When hatred is in their hearts. When bitterness is in their hearts. When lying is on their lips. When deceit and manipulation are tools for their success. They're spiritually. And I hate to say this. I hate to say it. But I got to say it anyway. There are folk that we see every day. There are folk that jump in church. 
Oh, y'all not saying that. Yeah. There are folk that speak in tongues. Yeah. There are folk that gave men hold up the service. Yeah. There are folk that pay good tithes. Yeah. There are folk that sing in the choir, yeah. sing on the praise team, yeah. but they're spiritually yeah. sick. <laughs> but I got good news. Right I'm going to the house. Yeah. The good news is, 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 is that God yeah. Allow Jesus yeah. to be wounded yeah. for our sake. Yeah. He allowed him to be bruised yeah. for our sickness. Yeah. You see, the thing I like about God is that, that, that he knows that we all are sick. Yeah. He knows that we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. He knows that, that, that we've all, like sheep, gone astray. He knows that, that, that we all, glory to God, we've all been on the outside of grace. The Bible says, if any man sin, and he say he have not sin, he is a liar. And the truth is not in him. Just look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you keep it all. But you got some skeletons in your closet. You, you've been sick before. You've been living on the outside before. None of us were born saved. I wish I had a witness. None of us came into salvation when we entered out of our mother's womb. When you entered into this world, you entered in a sinful state. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity. And in sin did my mother conceive me. I was a man in sin. I was spiritually sick. But thank God he was wounded for every one of my transgressions. And he was bruised for every one of my iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon him and ruined the life with his stripes. I am healed. You ought to tell somebody I'm healed today. I'm healed from every struggle. I'm healed from every addiction. I'm healed from every shortcoming. I've been healed not because of what I do, but I'm healed because of what he does. I'm healed because he gave his life on a ransom tree 2,000 years ago. Somewhere on an old rugged cross. He gave his life for me. He gave a man himself for me. And today I'm healed by the power of the cross. And I want somebody to know this afternoon, amen, you don't need to let people drag you back to where God healed you from. If God healed you from that issue, if God healed you from that struggle, if God healed you from that habit, you need to walk in your healing. Pick your head up. Stick your chest out. And say, I'm healed by the power of God. He was wounded for my sickness. He was bruised for my sickness. And right now, I am healed. Aren't you so glad that God didn't leave you in a sick state? Aren't you so glad that when you were waddling in your own mess, the God of above, he reached way down and picked you up out of the barbecue. Aren't you so glad that he dusted you off? Aren't you so glad that he washed you in his blood? Aren't you so glad that he gave you another chance? Aren't you so glad that he gave you a fresh start? I wish there was about five people at the river today that can say, I thank God that I feel today. I wasn't fit to live. No one was ready to die. If I'd have died back then, I'd have gone to a burning hell. But I thank God that he healed me. I thank God that he brought me out. I thank God that he dusted me off. I thank God that he cleaned me up and presented me back as his righteousness. 
right. yeah. in a sick state. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm healed yeah. by the power, by the power. of all yes. my God. Yes. Yes. He was wounded yes. for our transgressions. Yes. He was bruised yes. for our iniquity. Yes. The chastisement yes. of our peace yes. was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Just tell your name, I'm healed. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Today I want to pray with you that you can be healed, that you can be delivered, that you can be set free. If you'll stand all over the building today, I want to pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are certainly grateful and thankful for this opportunity. Thank you, Lord, for healing us, for bringing us through every storm, every struggle, every addiction. Thank you, Lord, for being wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquity. The chest of our peace was upon you. And with your stripes, we are healed. We've all been spiritually sick at some point or another. But Jesus Christ healed us. Thank God for his healing. Lord, we praise you today for his healing. We praise you, Jesus, for this healing. This is the matchless name. Amen. Of Jesus that we pray and give thanks. Yeah. And we all said, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Come on, thank God for you. Yeah. You're healed today. Yes. So walk in that here. Yeah. I'm healed spiritually yeah. and physically. Yeah. He's healed me. Today, friends, is offering time and we give, amen, at the end of the service as we give in response to our, the word of God that has been preached. Amen. 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 You can bring every gift to the Lord today. Amen. Will a man rob God? It says, yet ye have robbed me in tithe and in offering. You are cursed with a curse. Why? Because ye have robbed me. But bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. And prove me, hear what it says the Lord of hosts. And I will not open you the windows of heaven. And pour you out a blessing. That there shall not be room enough to receive. Today, friends, I want you to give. As God has so richly and graciously given to each and every one of us. Father, thank you for these gifts that will come today. We pray now, God, that you will use them for the upkeep of your kingdom. Mm -hmm. Bless the hands that give. Yes, Bless those that will receive. Yes. Father, that they may be used for the upkeep of your kingdom. Mm -hmm. These things we praise you for in Jesus' name. Jesus. And we all said, Amen. 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 Come bring your gifts to the Lord. <clears throat> God bless you, friends. We love you. We pray God's richest blessings be upon you. Amen. Keep on praying. The Lord is nigh. Keep on praying. He'll hear your cry. The Lord has promised and his word is true. If you keep on praying, he will answer you. Anybody believe that? Amen. 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 Father, thank you for time well spent. We pray now, Lord, that you would bless your people. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Keep us, Lord, yes. in the center of your will, covered under your blood. Now may the grace of our Lord and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest rule the body and forth now and forever. And we did all say, Amen. Amen. God bless you. We love you. Amen. Go in peace.